have encountered them in German buses. <laughs> and then, next thing he wanted us to do was now blood courage. Then that was instruction, and we were happy. There must be there must be a reason why he has especially need to start a program like this for a village to village in a bullock cart. But I was born in a village. And uh, I had a good experience in bullock carts. The first rides are it took quite a while before I had bus and train and car rides. I only had an experience of car, bullock car rides. I grew up with the bullock cars, with the bullocks. Uh, Prabhupada had some idea of my background. I, mean, I, was, I was a villager, born on a farm. So, so you know, mention. So he asked us to do that program. So we, from Delhi, we moved, and our group moved to Vrindavan, and we started getting everything ready to start bullock carts in Kita. And we fixed our destination, and we were going to go from Vrindavan to Mayapur. It is 1500 kilometers. Fix that at our destination. And uh, we started in September and we wanted to reach there by my Apple Festival time. We had about five months. So as soon as they only <coughs> realized that we were going on with the and Kid, a lot of help came. Some devotees gave us lovely tidies. Devotees gave us parts and pans. Australia for the attraction. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama. Why say that?
Time. Look, I'm going to go down the river, get out the old fishing rod, see if I can catch us a couple of fish for dinner tonight, eh? That's if you catch any. Well. You know, you've been at sea all day yesterday, you got fed as a lobster, and then you come back and you didn't bring anything. Well, it's up at the fish and chip shop, but they do a good job. Costs a lot of money too, you know. Oh, look. Look, love, stop nagging me. What, look, why don't you go and make a few beds or, you know, do a bit of ironing and washing and, and I'll just go in the in the river and I'll catch you some dinner for tonight, eh? All right, dear. I haven't got much choice, have I? <laughs> I guess so. All right, all right. I'll see you after, eh, hey, hey. Oh, no. <laughs> Women, can't live with them. Can't live without them. Always nagging you. Always having a go at you. Always want you to do so many things. Yeah, can't a bloke have a decent five minutes to himself to get a couple of fishing in? Ah, bye, darling. <laughs> oh, 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 here's the river. Better get myself in. Oh, where's my six pack? Oh, here it is. Okay, in the boat. Oh, throwing out. Oh, oh the muscles a bit sore. Oh, must have been all that lifting tinnies yesterday. Oh. Oh, it's just like a good spot. I was in here. Right, my little anchor. Oh, there she goes. Okay. 
Get a bit of bait. What about a worm or two? Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> ah, that was a good cast. Yeah, just sit here with her. <laughs> with a couple of titties. The fish and the wife's over there doing the washing and the ironing. Oh, mate, this is a man's life, I tell you. <laughs> this is a man's life up here in the sunny north. What else could go wrong, eh? What could you ask for, eh? What more could you ask for? Oh, they're boarding! Come on, it's a beauty. It's a big one. He's jumping out of the water. Look out. <laughs> oh, it's a big one. I tell you, my wife won't believe this. She's going to be a beauty, mate. It's coming. It's coming. Oh, oh steady on. Oh, the boat's getting rocky. Oh, oh, oh. come on, sit on. Oh, it's a beauty. Oh, it's going to be a 10 pounder. Maybe a 20 pounder. Maybe even a 30 pounder. Oh, oh, look out. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, my God. Oh. He can't swim. I can't, can't swim. swim. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Oh, what am I going to do? I'll save him. It's all right. I will save him. <laughs> Hang on. First of all, what's his name? It doesn't matter. I'll tell you later. No, no. I need to know. What's his name? Hey, no, his name's Fred. All right. Is he, is he employed? Of course he's employed. What type of job has he got? He's a big player. How old is he? Oh, look. Forget all this. He's drowning. He can't swim. Quick, quick. Him. First thing first. How tall is he? Oh, forget about it. Just get in there. Save him, he's drowning, he's going to die. Uh, what cast is he? Cast? Is he Negro? He looks quite white. He's Caucasian. Just Caucasian. get in there. How tall, how tall? Oh, I don't know. Five foot seven and a half. Five foot seven. He's employed. Get in there. He's Caucasian. Get in there. Save him. Uh, he is employed. Uh, here I go. He's I'll save him. Going. Oh, dear. It's all right. Save him. Whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I've got him. Oh, so I thought you wanted this. Oh. What about the children? What, what are we going to do? Sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> he didn't realise that I was a spirit soul. He didn't realise the true nature of my identity. He tried to save my body, which is a useless. Useless waste of time, simply <laughs> to neglect the soul and to place the emphasis on the body is a foolish mistake. So don't be like the social worker and simply only see the body. Try to be like the devotee and see the soul within. Hare Krishna. Yeah. I sold the devotees to farm in our house. I'm an auctioneer by trade. And I sold the devotees. I sold the farm to them. When you first bought it, I showed it to you. Really? Yes. That's close connection. Yeah, close connection. Yeah. Bust all the livestock. The first lot of livestock I sold you. Really? Uh, yes, I've got a, an affinity with the association since you came. Have you ever come? Oh, oh yeah, we've been out a few times. Yeah. Yeah. Your family. Uh, the family, you know, but I've been out probably more with on council inspections than uh, privately. But yeah, we've been back on a few occasions. I think you've got a great
That's terrific. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful uh, trip all the way down to the
each one of us, we're all looking for happiness. Every single activity that we perform, the goal is to how to be happy. And the reason we are all wanting to be happy is that by nature we are happy. The spirit soul that we are talking about, which we all are, we are all spirit souls. And by, spirit, by nature soul is full of happiness. God is God and He's already there, existing. So we are parts and parcels of God. So let's try to understand the big difference between ourselves and God. Hmm? Few things. Yes. Um, is there only one approach to the truth or are there many approaches? Is there one approach or many approaches to the truth? There seem to be many approaches, but as we try to understand, go a little deeper and understand those different, different approaches, we'll see there's a common underlying principle amongst those approaches. Of course, some approaches are just bogus and cheating also. man-made approaches, some concoctions and someone's idea, I think and I guess when someone says, yes, I am God and you are God, uh, it's a wrong approach to begin with. I am Bhagavan and I could also make you Bhagavan, it's a wrong approach. Which is the best approach? Best approach is Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita that if you want to learn the truth, you should approach a devotee of Krishna who comes in unbroken chain of spiritual masters and disciples. It's called parampara. So when you approach uh, that person who is representing Krishna's philosophy as it is, mm, that approach is the best approach. The Society for Krishna Consciousness representing this very scientific, original uh, approach, practical approach, proven approach, where you find complete, in-depth understanding of God. Not just few basic things, but complete information about God. While other scriptures and other approaches are calling God just a God, our spiritual master Srila Prabhupada said that our scriptures, Bhagavad Gita and Bhagavatam and Krishna consciousness could tell you everything about God, form of God. He said we could, we could tell you complete address of God, including his telephone number. What is telephone number? You are really interested. Huh? You want to note it down? Because it's God's telephone number, it has many digits. It's a long number. You ready? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. This is telephone number of God. And because we are always in trouble, so we better take note of this number. <laughs> <laughs>
Is it very hard to know that this is one good number that always connects you with God? Has he got more numbers? Three basic names are there, Hare, Krishna, Ram, and it is spread in sixteen digits. So, now you know the approach. The best approach is Hare Krishna. Yes. 